All right, guys. Uh, so I'm here with a very quick um, video to um, show you guys what is really new and uh, especially Adobe Premiere CC and SpeedGrid CC. Uh, for those of you who do not know, um, earlier on uh, midnight uh, of um, today, Adobe released um, the SCC applications, which is now a cloud-based um, application. So you could uh, just basically create yourself uh, a free account in the cloud and you could start with your 30-day free trial and see how you like it. One of the great new features uh, in Premiere Pro CC is the Lumetri Deep Color Engine. Now, this is going to be um, a game changer basically. I am not the kind of person who throws around this word game changer uh, around most of the time, but I believe this is going to be. Why? Because what it does is it actually allows um, you and your colorist to work um, seamlessly and very fast. Okay, and I'm just going to show you guys how. So uh, I'm just going to um, go into speed grade real quick. I'll just uh, minimize Premiere. Okay, and just go into speed grade. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead now. These are all the um, you know, the mags from my uh, my red SSD, and these are all the clips that are contained in my timeline. So I'm just gonna put one of them into a timeline here in speed grade, okay? And I'm gonna go into my um, color tab. Now, as you can see right now, we have tabs in speed grade, okay? So we have the media tab, we have the color tab, etc., etc. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do here, um, first of all, is I'm gonna step into my looks, okay? And I'm gonna create. Um, very quick look now let me see if I could hide this here so I could bring up my color okay awesome so let me just uh, start by just making a quick contrast um, now I'm not gonna make any kind of uh, creative grid here I just want to show you guys how this works okay I'll make a second um, primary um, layer okay and I'm just gonna probably just push um, the just push it very far okay so that it stands out okay I'm just doing something really really crazy here okay and crush the blacks a little more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to step into my shadows. Just make sure that, all right, into my midtones here. Just uh, like that. Now, this works with everything, so meaning that even if I do a secondary grade or um, a mask or whatever, I could save all of that in, as a look and port it into um, Premiere. Okay, I'll just add some saturation. Okay, I'm just doing something really, really extreme. As you can see, I'm all over here in my range, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm done with that. I'm going to now save this as a look. Now, traditionally, what I'll do if this is, let's say, um, this is um, the work here, you know, the client has um, the editor or producer or whatever, you know, they love what I've done. Okay, now it's time for me to export it out. What is going to happen is um, I'll have to just export the whole sequence and wait for hours and hours for that to be exported. But now in uh, SpeedGrade CC, um, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to save this as a look. Okay, so I have um, a folder that I, that I put on my, I created actually for this purposes. All right, so I'm going to click here and open up, um, you know, the tab. And I'm just going to come down to my folder here and on my document it says grades. Okay, and I'll make sure that um, that is where I am on the tab here. And I'll just say save look. Okay. And I'm gonna call this extreme gold. All right, and that's it. All right, so at this point in time, I could just quit out of um, speed grade. Okay, and I'll just bring up this. All right, so let's just say, um, you know, the next couple of shots down the road. Okay, they all have the same um, color temperature, it was the same location, the same lighting situation. So obviously, the grid that I created could work with everything down here. All right, so in Premiere, I could either make an adjustment layer and you know put on everything, or I could just do it one after the other. All right, so what I'm going to do here in Premiere is I'm going to go on an effect and I'm going to look for Lumetri. Okay, and it's a plugin. All right, so what I have to do is I just um, put it on top of my clip here, and it's going to open up and tell me where is um, the look that you want to apply, and it's under my grades. So I'll say a stream gold. I just created that, and I'll say open, and there you go. This is the look I just created in Speed Grade. That is how quick it is, and this is so awesome. So now um, it eliminates the time that your colors now have to, you know, spend hours or probably days to render out a full sequence after the grid is done back to your edit suite to be able to continue cutting. All right, and this is what the, the dip color engine is about. Um, 
and one thing also is that this is not actually um, you can um, edit it because it was actually created in speed rate so if at any point in time let's just say oh this is just too uh, hot for me you know back away a little bit from the warmth I'll tell my colorist he will go back inside the same um, timeline back it up send me another look and I'll just apply it and that's how it works all right so this is a quick look at um, the deep color uh, the Lumetri deep color engine inside Premiere CC thanks for watching